What up, though? Ledge here, chill with me. Final one I want to talk about is rum nitty versus drugs. And I feel like when anytime drugs get to look like this, people just instantly shit on them. And it's just, it's unfortunate. Um, I'm not sure why. I think the only people who, who got something to say about him is the people who like to compare him to twerk. I feel like that's really it. And people like twerk so much that if you sound or if you, or if they feel you sound anything like him, they don't like you. I think that's how it goes. But I think he's talented, man. I think he's been he was like when the Goonies were a thing, he was probably the most consistent over that whole period of time, if we're being honest. Over that whole period, I'm talking about whenever they first formed, just battles. He's he's been the most consistent. I watched a ton, I watched a ton of drugs battles where he was looking like, you know, primed and ready for another level. You know what I'm saying? So I liked him versus Mike P. Like, you know, thought he was solid versus Bill. I liked him even against Arsenal. I thought Arsenal won. But I don't think it was by much. All right. Uh, I remember his battle versus Young Grizz. I've been watching a lot of Grizz name keep coming up. But I watched uh, Drugs versus Young Grizz in uh, the culture battle uh, down there in Texas. He was getting busy there. But people just don't um, really give him the credit he deserves. I feel like it's more so in this case about how they feel about rum, actually. People love rum, and people want to see rum get bigger plates. And there's no disrespect to drugs, but I've even said it. I want to see rum versus Hitman, Lux, Mook. Like, I want to see him get those type of plates and see what level his pen goes. Because I feel like he's he writes up. Like, you know, sometimes he might write to the level of his opponent, but for the most part, he writes up. And I feel like he'll he'll go to another level if he got a Lux or a Daylight. Ooh, Daylight. But anyway, so yeah, I want to see that. But he 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 sees something. I feel like he can turn down this battle if he wanted to. He he obviously sees something in drugs that he finds like really dope. And I think when you get those type of matchups, where you no, know, I want to battle him from the guy who's deemed the top tier. You actually get good battles. Because if you remember, Geechee gave Chess a shot. He respect Chess. He wanted to see Chess work. And Geechee didn't slack off on Chess. Even though Chess was like, this is when he was like having all those slip ups and stuff like that. He still respect the potential of Chess. So he gave him his best. You know what I'm saying? And there was another battle like that. And I feel like Rum would, is going to do the same thing with drugs. I think Rum... First of all, he's going to flip the hell out of that name. <laughs> but he's going to do it probably with, with so much more. I mean, he even did it against Twerk, right? Um, you see that 12 step? When you're talking to drugs in the, behind him? I never heard no shit like that, all right? So he's going to have those type of moments and flips. I think drugs is going to really rap with a lot of passion. Um, all in all, I'm going to go with rum. I know that's cliche and typical. But I just, I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's not going to be, there's no, it's not that many people left on the planet that's going to beat Rum two out of three rounds. It's just not. Like, I don't, I'm not saying that, that like, I like I had him losing to John John. Um, by default, I had him losing to K-Shine because of the third. Um, B-Dot got him. So he can lose, but look at the names I'm talking about. John John, B-Dot. Kayshawn, now that he's faced them, I'm looking at who's really left for him besides, like, the Lux and the Daylights. Nobody under in the, in the different tier is going to really get him up out of here, man. That's just the reality of the situation, all right? So, that's it, man. Looking forward to seeing these battles pop off uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Caffeine, all right? So, check in with me. And as always, keep it battle rap. Love.